bring us in. Welcome to Lawn Porn Season 2. 2017, 2018, get your lawn on. Right, spring reno time. Hire yourself an aerator and a scarifier. I couldn't get a scarifier, so I had to go a dethatcher. The aerator cost me 150 for a weekend, and the dethatcher cost me about 80. Maybe there's one behind the other. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Probably go in, eh? Yeah. The rates are fairly reasonable, but if you want to make them cheaper, go in with some mates and share the equipment and share the cost. So here's the aerator designed to pull out cores, and here's the dethatcher. See, this hasn't been used for a while. <laughs> Put bricks over your sprinklers, you don't want to damage them throughout the process. Renovation's a big job, so get some mates to help you. The best thing to get is a scarifier, but I couldn't get hold of one, so I ended up using a D thatcher, what you see here being used, and then I low mode with a rotary mower after this. Dethatching or scarifying is a messy job, so collect up your material and put that material into either some bags or what I've got here is a trailer. If you can't get hold of a scarifier, don't panic. You can use a rotary mower and low mode will do pretty much a similar job. Once you've removed your material, you can aerate your area. Remove the stolons for replanting or disposal. You've been quite rough with your lawn, so give it a good drink. Now you can chop dress straight away. I've done it before like that, but I like to wait for some growth. And in this case, I waited a couple of weeks. I use sand for top dressing, but realise that sand doesn't have nutrients and will need some extra fertilisation. The benefit of sand is that it's easier to flatten. Really, really nice. Thank you, coat's high. Get down low to check your low spots. Windy Whaler makes filming hard sometimes. Here's a good trick, flick your sand down. You want a light spread, you don't want it too thick and smothering the lawn. And one of these is worth its weight in gold, it's a soil spread, it makes the job much, much easier. Now keep going with flicking the sand and evening up your area with the soil spreader. Now flatten out with a roller or you can use a plank of wood if you don't have one. I also roll in two different directions just trying to keep it nice and flat. After rolling check your area is level and then fix any low levels with sand. I repeat this process about three or four times till I'm happy that it's flat. Give it a nice drink and see how she's sitting. This process works for cooch and kaikuyas, not suitable for buffalo. Well now it's time to check out our work, see how we went. Well you'll notice she's pretty brown right and that's what turns a lot of people off from actually doing it. But the idea with uh, renovation is removing all the material and it's kind of like a fresh slate or fresh canvas so to speak. Yeah, gotta have you. Go. Pooches and kaikuyas grow under the ground. Now, a trick really with uh, trop dressing is don't smother the grass because that can kill it. But just have that little bit coming through. You'll sort of notice in my backyard I've got a few green areas there. That's some high points, so I haven't top dressed them too heavy. And I'm just trying to make it all level with the areas that look, I suppose, browner. So from here on you'll need a bit of extra care, a bit of extra water. I'll water about 20 minutes in the early morning, noon and late afternoon. The trick is not to let it dry out too often for too long. Fertilisation will have as many schools of thought. I fertilised four days beforehand and I'll fertilise two weeks after I've put my top dress down. Get your lawn on.